It was, they all talk like that though. Wow. And they are all, you know, how you kind of assume Italian guys, like you would think that all they care about is just riding scooters around and getting tourist pussy. Yeah. Actually pretty Catholic. You're going to see it in my late, I apologize, late video. It's going to go up tomorrow. I went into a cappuccino place. Best cappuccino ever made. And I told the guy behind the counter, trying for a sincere compliment, dude, this cappuccino, it tastes like the Virgin Mary's breast milk. The smile on his face evaporated. He got so angry, Leo. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I didn't, dude, he was like 20 and had tattoos all over the place. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh, yeah. Is anybody else upset? Because, Danny, you were uh, told a nice Italian boy. This? I'm not Catholic. You know, Protestant over here, we don't dude, really care that much. <laughs> dude, this, that affected, that was like saying that was almost just saying that you wanted to like fuck his mom. I don't I think it was that the same. bad. I think it was on the same. L I, listen, the Virgin Mary saying her breasts produce a, a beautiful elixir, that is a compliment to the Virgin Mary. I think you're sick, dude. I don't think that you, you can't function in society and definitely not in Europe. This proved it. I couldn't. Let's talk about Europe. Yeah, could we, do, could we have just made a video that would have been incredible there? Yes, if we had Nico there, but you know what's real? Really, really hard to contend with the jet lag. Damn. The jet lag over there. So flying from Los Angeles to Rome and then to Florence, that flight from Los Angeles to Rome feels twice as long as any flight should be. Torture? You, you, you feel like you're Magellan sailing off the edge of the earth. Because after six hours, usually for all intents and purposes, you're at your destination. But you look at the 3D global map of where your plane is on planet Earth, and you're still just barely into the Atlantic Ocean. Oh. And you have to sail over Iceland, over more ocean, over Europe, part of the Mediterranean or whatever, and then into Rome. And you're like, oh, my God. The guy next to me is obese. The person in front of me is reclining their seat so I can hardly move forward an inch or two. I'm going to have a panic attack on this plane. Damn. That is awful. Yeah. You get there, though, and you don't know. Like, the sun never set. The whole trip, the sun doesn't set. Yeah. So you don't know if it's Monday, if it's Sunday, if it's Tuesday. People are texting you in L.A., and it's like the middle of the night, and they just woke up. I was sleeping like, like uh, I don't know, a, a baby that just ate a roofie. Like, that's what my sleeping pattern was like, just fucking passing out randomly, like, it sounds like torture, man. I mean, is that why Nico around hour three would have snorted three or four Xanax pills? And, uh, you know, incidentally, the people who were next to me on the flight, they were going to the wedding, too. And they both took Xanax pills. Dude, how'd, that, how'd they go for them? They were conked out for 13 straight hours in the flight. Fucking idiot, dude. You should have done it. Why didn't you? Well, I, I'm not going to open the door to a new prescription drug just because I want to enjoy a flight a little more. Well, I, I know a guy who's a real fiend. And you know him, too, because he's a good friend of ours, Nico. And he has not... <laughs> He has not gotten to the point where he's doing anything crazy for Xanax. He barely uses it. He uses it on the plane. Yeah. When he's very uncomfortable sitting, yeah. sitting between us, taking your abuse, you know. Yeah. He, you know, all yeah, that. He, the wedding, though, dude. One of the first things that struck me at the wedding was there were a lot of dudes there dating girls who were porn stars. Okay. Now, are you, uh, was it normal? I mean, it's obviously normalized in our society, sort of, but not a lot of people get to spend time with them because I guess it, they're just, there's not that many of them, right? So how was it? They're, they're dating super famous chicks too. I mean, let's talk about Kazumi's boyfriend because they're super open about it. I don't feel talking about, I don't feel bad about talking about it. Christian is his name. One of the cool, hey, action cam guy. Where are you? He never used to do this back in the studio. Dino is going downstairs. Just, oh, it's my house, dude. I can do whatever I want. Screw you, Dino. Get back up here. I hate when you do shit like this, dude. Adam Toy is getting married. And it's not going to really he's change. Married. He's not going to really He's married. Get, yeah, he's married. No, he's married. It's not going to change much for him. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this wedding. We, uh, we, we're chilling. We're, we got a long pod going today, but we'll just wrap it up on this. Yeah. So Adam 22, I was at his wedding. And first of all, if you've seen Succession... It is straight out of succession, the wedding. It's at a 16th century castle. There's fucking Italian guys in tuxedos running around with champagne, high quality hors d'oeuvres, the best desserts and foods. Sinatra cover band there. Jeez, that would have been, that's that's what I want, man. Fireworks. Why don't you go? A fucking full on fireworks show <laughs> no, after I'm they not, got married. I don't know Adam that well. 
you might have been able to go as my plus one. Could have won. Yeah. Like a huge fireworks show goes off. But when we're sitting there and they're saying their vows and shit, I look in the crowd and I'm like, huh, hey, Adam's had sex with that girl. <laughs> hey, he's had sex with that girl too. Oh, and that uh, the girl over there with her husband? Yeah, Adam's fucked her also. And I went up to Adam after the ceremony. I was like, hey, did, you, did you look out and like ask yourself how many girls you fucked that were in the crowd? He's like, yeah, I started counting at some point during a lot of I counted about six. That's he, hilarious. He didn't yeah. say he counted during Letta's vows. I made that up. But he did say <laughs> that he counted about six girls he'd fucked in the crowd. And Letta was there on the couch when he fucked them, too. So there was no great secret here. Well, lucky him, right? <laughs> what if, like, I became obsessed? <laughs> I became obsessed with doing that. To it for my it, So whoever I married, I have to, like, just... It's got to be, like, cousins of hers. Like, because people that are getting invited to the wedding, dude, it's got to just be, like, her sister, her best friend. Because you want to fuck them? Yeah, because I want to have six like Adam 22. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's going to be it's going <laughs> to be for tough. anybody else. It would be so tough. I don't know how you have a wedding where you are getting married to a woman and you have six women also in attendance that you fuck. I have an idea. You guys should have Guinness Book of World Records come and like authenticate that <laughs> as a world record. Like most bitches you fucked at your own wedding. That's a great idea. I'm sure they would love that. I'm sure it'd be you the front so? page of the 2024 edition. If you had, if you were in on the marketing team, though, you would suggest such a thing. A lot yeah. of people keep a list of every person they've had sex with on their phone. It's just whenever you're getting married, that's your invite list for your guest. Did list. you find it in your ex girlfriend's phone? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I've had girls show me that they like because some girl was asking me if why. Girl I, did I, that, I, they asked like, me oh. what my body count was, and I was like, "Oh, I've never counted." And then this girl was like, "I have a list of all the guys I've kissed before." You should be wow. like, "There's the door, honey." You well, should have had Dino. If just it just be like, kissed, hey, bitch. Wait, what, what if it was like three names long and it was only guys she'd kissed? Still, you guys are going to be pulling <laughs> so <laughs> many Italian. bitches in this house, though. Let me just say that right now. No, like, they're not. Uh, I'm going to have to get King Kong autistic uh -huh. with the statistics. I'm going to need like. I track. want a fucking whiteboard with the tally of bitches fucked in the house oh, at all times. Sense. I've got some whiteboards. I want it I'll right it there. I want it maybe behind us on the pod, dude. That'd be unbelievable. <laughs> that'd be, we're that looking. We're like Dino <laughs> three this weekend. We should have a high score over the like nah. six months. Who fucks the most chicks? It's gotta, if you strike out with a chick, though. It's a negative number. So Dino could just get deep into the negatives and never even come out. That, you know that's not fair, dude. You know it's not fair because for every girl you hook up with, there's usually like 25 strikeouts. How dare you? Absolutely. Make those I mean, equivalent. Less for some of us, but others, I would say that that's a normal number and it's actually accurate. I mean, if you, it's everything's a numbers game, so... Yeah, so we'll leave it at that. But I will say before we get into this, before I was dating Mia back in the day, I hooked a chick came over who like found me off the channel and she came over and we sat down on the couch and we talked about hooking up and she pulled out her phone. She had a list of guys she'd hooked up with Austin. She added me to the list and was like, OK, I guess we can do it. Danny Mullen. And then we didn't end up having sex. So I think what that means is. Wherever that girl is, whatever she's doing today, I get to have sex with her. Yeah, she calls her up right now, dude. Because it's like double jeopardy. Like if I you get indicted for murder, it turns out I didn't do it. You can kill the person. Wait, come on. Do you have her number? Yeah. Let's try to just call her on the bot randomly. No. <laughs> dude, dude. Come come on. See if she, see if you're still on the list. Come dude. on. No. Did you, did you want to talk about the guys dating porn stars a little bit though? Did we talk about that? Uh, Not really. uh, we, we'll we'll talk about it quickly. But basically, yeah, <laughs> we teased this early on. But basically, like, Kazumi's boyfriend was there. Yeah. And then this one chick who is really fucking hot, actually. She's a porn star with braces. She's, like, 29, has two kids, but just, like, looks great. I saw her slap Adam 22's ass on the dance floor. And he just turned around and gave her this weird look and then just walked away. But she was there with her boyfriend. He was a manager at a local restaurant in the state she's from. Oh. Um, very nice guy, but, like, wow. clearly... And I... I I'm just be like, hey, man, the fucking confidence you have, all you guys, to date these chicks is amazing. But then you start to see, like, one of the girls flew out from Australia. She dropped 30K on fucking tickets for her and her guy. 30K on airline tickets. Oh, my God. They're probably, it's probably first class, right? They had their own suite, like their own, basically like a hotel room on the plane. Oh, come on. Kazumi. Dude, just like fucking first class, like buying her man, like new clothes, fucking whatever. And it's just, it's crazy that like, if you have the mental armor to deal with that, you can be a sugar baby as a guy. It's awesome. I mean, or if I, you're a cuck, then it's just a bonus both ways. Yeah, if you love it. Hey man, like the way I look at it is. 
Amazon? Fuck off! Hey, Wait, suck sh- my fucking no, god. No, no, no. I think Sorry. <laughs> he's working. He's working. Is that Amazon? <laughs> Oh, is it Amazon? <laughs> That's gonna happen all the time in this house, dude. You're gonna get your package. Going. That's gonna happen all the time. We have a guy sorry. working downstairs on sorry. one of the bedrooms. Well, sorry, he should know there's a podcast going on up here. But guys, it's been the Leo and Danny show. That was the Leo and Danny. Subscribe to the Patreon, see some more. Um, thank you guys for coming. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.